How are you guys? Good. How are you? Super good. Awesome. Where are you from? What, I'm what? from Spain. Spain. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, Wait. Baywatch is a, is a show that was early 90s, and you probably didn't watch it growing up because you guys are very really young. Um, but did you see it later on in life, and what memories does it bring to you? I watched it when I was a kid. Um, me and my sisters used to suck our thumbs with our blankies and like sit there and watch the girls running down the beach being like, mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> so I, and I remember most that I had like the biggest crush on Brody and uh, David Hasselhoff. Mm, yeah, so that's what I remember about it. I, I actually didn't see it until I, I booked this movie, and I think it's what well, it's very cool what we do with the movie because we take it and pay homage to it, and this really and lovingly poke fun at it, but keep sort of what Baywatch what made Baywatch Baywatch. So the slow mo running and sort of the the like sort of crime aspect of it, and we just made it into the, a raunchy comedy. The images, the the visuals that are stuck in your mind, even if you didn't watch the show, you still know what they are. Like they're somehow in your brain. We, we have that spirit. We have the Hasselhoff dripping wet and the Pamela running in slow-mo. <laughs> and we just made it action-packed. We added a ton of humor and uh, some thriller elements. And it's just, we just, we cranked it up for today. Yeah. It's awesome. awesome action. The action looks like James Bond or Mission Impossible <laughs> yeah, type absolutely. action. It's actually <laughs> super sweet action. It's like a James Bond movie with more girl. And I was, when I saw it, I was like, damn, that's some good stuff. But it's funny because the show... Or like Rush Hour. <laughs> sure, that. <laughs> the original show, <laughs> like Looking Bad, looks like a little funny. Like it's, uh, because I guess it gets a little old and looks a little more funny than... I mean, when you watched it when you were a kid, it was impressive. And now it's like, oh, that looks a little weird. Well, everything that becomes yeah, no, old becomes a little bit kitsch. So that's, that's yeah. my question. When, when you guys grew up and you guys have a TV show that you watched back then, and now it's like, oh my God, like... It's, it's like so old now, it feels kind of like... Uh, like I can't believe I took that so seriously. Yeah, exactly. Like Twin Peaks. I think that's what we do with this movie. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, yeah, it's like we... we 21 Jump Street. Lovingly make fun of the things that now seem ridiculous about Baywatch. Mm -hmm. But kudos to those guys, because they do some crazy underwater work in that movie. Yeah. Or in that, sorry, in the TV show. And they really did that. That was the actors. Uh, those were the actors. They are the actors. Um, and <laughs> they, were, they were awesome, so. But that's sort of the premise of our yeah. film is um, when you look back at the uh, TV show, it was, you know, a, a dramatic, uh, it was very dramatic. And, mm -hmm. and we sort of are playing into the fact that these lifeguards take themselves so seriously. And Zach's character comes in and sort of blows the whistle on us and is like, hey guys, take it easy. It's the beach, you know, relax, check out the babes. And because our characters take our job so seriously, we're able to solve a crime that would have otherwise gone unnoticed. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a bit tongue in cheek to what it was and sort of evolves that idea. Yeah, they watch it's like a, it's like a, a world that, um, that these people live in and my character doesn't understand it at all. They're doing crime work, investi CSI style work. <laughs> uh, there's like action packed scenes and, and he just thinks this is uh, uh, we're supposed to be normal lifeguards, don't we? Just like save people that drown, like occasionally. But they are they are like secret agents of the water. That's right. It's incredible. Yeah. So you know the aesthetic of, of the show back in the day. <clears throat> David Hasselhoff had a, like a beauty that probably is not that current anymore. If you look because he had like a lot of chest hair and. Now it's a little oh, change. Okay. Change. Oh, change. It's coming back. Oh, it's coming. That's, that was my question. I'm like, very into chest hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. Me too. Is that out of style? No, I didn't get the memo. Yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> not, no, not no. me personally. <laughs> oh, I was talking oh, about my own chest hair. Always shave your chest. I'm yeah. an adjuster. <laughs> What's that? I said I'm an adjuster. Uh, <laughs> no, but he's like for. <laughs> no, David Hasselhoff totally. looks still in. David no. Hasselhoff, he's the epitome of yeah. handsome. So, oh, really, so that's things right. that's gonna last. He just exudes uh, sex throughout the decades. Yeah. Because beauty is like a, last, la, a long will. lasting type of beauty. Yeah, like forever. Like Michael Jackson's music. Like yeah. it's, it's <laughs> forever. Yeah, but everyone would say like Michael Jackson's sexiness. beauty. Yeah. 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 Also no. forever. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Also, I think we don't have one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.